Hi, this is Kleiner Bär. In this video, we will create a day night cycle. Day night cycle. Um, first, we will just um, put in all the stuff that we need, we create a blueprint, and make it so that we can change the uh, sun's position in the editor. And in the next video, we will make the sun move on its own when we start the game. So first let's create a blueprint, right click, select blueprint class, actor, and I will call it day night cycle, because why not? Open the blueprint, you start with the viewport, change to the construction script, and the first thing we will need is vectors. So click here, add new variable and I will call that one v undersc underscore for vector north pole I have to change the type it's boolean by default change that to a vector now I drag the vector variable onto the execution pin of the construction script And I have to set it. So right now it's zero, zero, zero. What we want to do is drag a wire, type in rotate, select rotate vector. And for the X, we enter the value 1000. Compile. Now the next thing we do is add a component that will be visible within the um, editor viewport and so that we know what this vector is actually about. So add component, type in SPH for a sphere. We call that C underscore North Pole. So it has the same name, so we know that um, belongs together, and I call it C underscore because you can't have identical names for two different things. So one name is unique, but this way, you know, it's the same thing. But one is the component, one is the vector. Now I drag this component into the construction script. And I drag a wire from the pin and type in set rel. And that lets me set the relative location. And of course, the location will be the vector. Now let's compile. And I forgot we have to drag actually drag the blueprint into the level because it's an actor and only if it's in the level it will actually you know do something and we want to position the blueprint at zero 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 so that it's at the origin and there you can see this is the sphere that we created at the vector that is the x um, axis x y and z this is x, 1000, y and z are 0, that's why it's only in that direction. Now let's go back to edit. As you can see, um, we can also rotate that vector. We we'll just right click and select split struct pin so that I can directly access the pitch and the pitch I will just tap in right click type in minus so you get the note float minus float and let's just do this that will be 180 and let's do minus zero for now so plug that into the pitch let's zoom out a little here so that you can see 
and now I compile and the sphere should then be on this side so it will be rotated over here so that worked that's good um, now we create a new variable and that we call latitude the latitude is the position on the earth um, between north and south so the other thing is longitude that is west east but latitude is north south so are you at the equator are you at the north pole are you in the northern or southern hemisphere so by default that will be zero that's fine we'll make that public so that we can edit it here without having to open the blueprint and then we drag the latitude onto that pin and now compile so now the pitch will not only be 180 degrees but minus the latitude that means we close this and it change the latitude the position of that sphere will also change so right now I'm at latitude 0 and if I increase that I walk down uh, up from the equator in the direction of the North Pole so I'm still near the equator I'm in the southern hemisphere Italy somewhere I don't know that's somewhere France Poland Germany I'm going all the way up Scandinavia and I'm at the North Pole so you can see that now um, depending on where my position would be or the character's position the imagined position on the earth uh, equator or near this north pole um, this sphere is in a different position and that is why um, this is a projection of the north pole like the earth's axis if you imagine imagine to be uh, another sphere around the earth and that would be the sky sphere and you project the Earth's axis onto that sky sphere the North Pole would be there because right now we're standing at the North Pole so if I walk down from the North Pole I see the North Pole's projection so if you uh, continue the axis into the sky I see it over here and if I'm at the equator it's all the way down the horizon and if you're on the southern hemisphere as you know you can't see it because it's below the horizon uh, in the southern hemisphere you would see a projection of the south pole okay we'll set that to 49 because that's my latitude <coughs> so I'm most familiar with how that should look um, so we will to better orient ourselves we'll also make another vector for the equator so we have a projection for that and to not confuse the both uh, we will make this one a color let's say red and for that we need a material so right click create a material I'm gonna call that M underscore for material um, North Pole So I'm gonna open that, just a very basic material, just a color. Um, I hold down the four key and I click. That op creates a four vector that can be used as a color. And I'm gonna make that uh, red, I guess. Yeah. So just increase these two values, saturation and value, okay. So that's a nice red and I plug that into base color apply now I just change to oops that's the wrong no that's the correct one okay everything's fine and I click on my component C North Pole that's this sphere can't speak 
and here you see it's got a static mesh I won't change that and here's the material default is basic shape material that's this grayish thing and I just select um, type in north yeah there you go and north pole nice red instantly changes now we know red is our north pole so let's zoom out a little so that we can see better. Make it neat. Pull it up here. Yeah. Okay, so another vector. Add new variable. And call that um, V underscore for vector. Equator. change the type because it's always the type that you last selected so that's why this was a float now it's a vector and we drag that into the um, construction script onto the execution pin that creates a set node you can also just drag it in there and then it asks if you want to get it or do you want to set it works both ways and now we can just copy these nodes just draw a frame and then at the position of your cursor if you press uh, Control w it will just copy it in <coughs> so we connect that that is the next vector and we create a new component type in sph like sphere c underscore uh, what was it? Equator. And I drag that in. Drag a wire. Type in set rel. Set relative location. Connect the execution pin. Gotta be neat. Always gotta be neat. And plug in the equator vector. Now compile. And what you see is oh, our red sphere is now gray. But that's just because these two vectors are equal. It's the same 180 minus latitude. Same vector with the same um, rotation, but for the equator, of course, we need 90 minus latitude. Now, boom, it's a, what do you call it, 90 degrees angle. And that's, of course, correct because, you know, North Pole, equator, 90 degrees. Okay, that is just like a proxy so that you know where you are, is what is the position, is the sun in the correct position and stuff like that. Now we come to the actual um, sun. Oh, but first let's make this blue, right? So we create a new material, just right click, call it M underscore equator double click to open it um, press 4 click that creates a 4 vector and select the color paste the value it's too dark does that look yeah that's good enough and we apply that and then I select Go to back to the day night cycle blueprint, just change the tab and select the component equator sphere material. Type in EQ. Yeah, that's enough. M equator. And that's black. Why is that? Oh didn't plug it in and 
Oh, it's blue. Pretty. Okay. So red is the projection of the North Pole and blue is the projection of the equator onto the imagined sky sphere. Zoom out a little bit. Pretty straightforward. Now we need another component. Uh, for the sun we need uh, two things. Uh, one is an arrow that serves as the basis in the origin and the other one is uh, the sun sphere um, that just represents where the um, vector is so that will mostly be a proxy we will later probably change that or you will want to change that to use that sun disk in the sky sphere that is already um, part of the Unreal Engine but for now to better see what we're doing we will create all the components so that arrow we do need um, we call that arrow um, C underscore sun rotator oh I made it um, yeah the root now is the equator component that's wrong we just pull it up here and say attach so now it's attached to the default scene root which is at zero 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 because that's where the blueprint is now having selected the sun rotator I add a new component I type in SPH to get a sphere and I call that C underscore Sun. So now the Sun will have as its root, as its origin, that rotator. That's important. Now we have to set the rotation of the Sun rotator. So I drag it into the blueprint, uh, into the construction script and type in set rel. That brings up set relative rotation. Plug in the execution pin. I drag a wire uh, from new rotation and type in rotator. And there we have rotator from axis and angle now the axis is the North Pole because everything of course revolves around the North Pole because that is the apparent movement uh, of the um, celestial bodies in the sky because that is the axis of the Earth's rotation around itself so that's why the Sun seems to move around the axis and the angle will be a new variable that we can edit in the um, editor so we can just move it around you will see let's just call that Sun handle because I don't know sounds nice make that a float so that it fits the type of that input and now we need to set the location of the Sun component drag a wire type in set rel and set the relative location so this will be basically the same as our vector proxies for the North Pole and the equator Um, but I will not make a separate vector because if I remember correctly I didn't need that not sure so warning maybe I will have to correct that later I don't know so I'll drag a wire type in rotate K 
get a rotate vector. So basically same as, as setting up the vectors. Um, X forces 1000. So it's just on the X axis. And then I split the structs pin so I can access the pitch. And that will be minus load minus float. Oh no, let's make that different. Let's use a math expression. So just uh, right click and type in math. So it comes up with the math expression. In order to edit the math expression, you need to press F2. Now you can change the title, rename it, because the name is the actual um, algorithm, formula, whatever you type in. So that will be 270 minus latitude minus the sun declination. We haven't created that variable yet, so we get a pin here. Um, but we will do so now. Add a new variable, call it sun declination. What is that? That is the tilt of the Earth's axis, um, if it's towards the sun or away from the sun, and that is what creates the season. So if you're on the northern hemisphere and the axis is tilted towards the sun, it's summer. And when it goes around the sun, the Earth goes around the sun, um, the axis is still pointing in the same direction, but now the sun is on the other side, so the axis is tilted away from the sun, and now it's winter. And on the southern hemisphere, it's the other way around, because your side is tilted towards or away. Um, so let just compile, and we have to rename this. Just press F2, and then click somewhere. Now it knows sun declination exists, and it automatically includes that. We plug that into the pitch. Now we can see a third sphere popping up here. So just to make sure, um, this is um, the x-axis rotated uh, on the pitch by 90 degrees minus the latitude. This is 180 degrees minus the latitude. And this is 270 degrees minus the latitude minus the sun declination, which is right now zero. However, we can change the sun declination. That would be like summer. It's actually at a maximum of 23.5. That is the middle of summer. And if it's negative, that's winter. Of course, that's only on the northern hemisphere. And now we can increase the value of sun handle and the sun moves up. You can see it doesn't rise up very high in the sky because it's winter. And if we were to increase the sun declination, it now gets so it's, it's spring and now it's summer. So now it's high up in the sky. So it does that really nice high up in the sky, long day, short night, sun rises already, works. Now let's check that out for the North Pole. 900? No, 90. That's the North Pole. North Pole was red, so the projection is right above us. Equator is at the horizon, that's correct. We're standing on top of the Earth. It's summer, let's reset that to zero and cycle it, and you can see it does this um, thing on the North Pole. The sun never sets its day all the time in the summer. Um, it's a circular motion, looks kind of weird, but that is correct, that is realistic. 
and then it's spring or autumn whatever it would be right at the horizon and when it's winter here then the sun never rises and that is this um, if you have seen the movie 30 days of night is that a title where the vampires come i don't know that's what happens when we, you are above the polar circle in winter so and at the equator of course um, looks all different we are standing at the equator so we are like at the side of the earth and so above us is the equator projection and the north pole would be at the horizon and the sun rises a little weird if you live on the northern hemisphere if you live at the equator and the sun rises properly because that's what it does and also works on the southern hemisphere and now minus 30 what would that be i don't know get not that big that number so that would be this rise sun rises in the east rises up to the north and sets in the west and is below the horizon in the e south and of course you could would not be able to see um, the celestial north pole you only see the celestial south pole so that is correct as well and of course uh, it's uh, sun declination is negative but on the southern hemisphere it's summer right now so it's high up in the sky days are long if you make that positive it becomes winter so that is correct as well now let's um, create oops already created the whole day night cycle so that's why i had the other folder let's create um, another material for the sun rather simple m underscore sun open it up um, press 4 click I won't change anything about the color just the brightness value and drag a wire hold M oh, don't drag a wire just hold M and click gets you the multiply node multiply it by 1 that does nothing so multiply by 10 so that gets really bright and shiny plug that into emissive color oh that looks like a sun right nice and oh wait you can just change the tabs of course uh, select the sun component change the material just type in sun and sun and there you go nice and shiny okay that's it for this video and in the next video um, we will make it so that if you press play and um, the sun moves on its own uh, through the year and the seasons and so forth okay see you in the next video